Hey guys, today I have this dual base SATA enclosure for two and half inches disk drives from Orico, which we will unbox and put into some tests. I bought this one because I have two mobile hard drive disks and I decided uh, to use them as external storage to put some of my unnecessary files, some footage to store externally. Uh, yes. Uh, I could use two separate uh, single disk enclosures, which will cost less for me, uh, but for more convenience and most important uh, higher data transfer speeds, I picked this particular model with two set base and most important with RAID support. So let's open the package, take a look what is inside. So here we have enclosure itself uh, let's put it aside for a while take a look what else we have here uh, next we have some plastic stand for enclosure uh, we, uh, using this you can put enclosure in a vertical position depending on your situation we have USB Type A to Type B cable, one meter length. Yep. And an external power adapter with a European plug, in my case, uh, because this enclosure operates two uh, hard drives same time uh, so we need an external power and uh, this adapter is rated to 10 watts also we have some paperwork here this, uh, warranty information and use a manual when you can find information how to use uh, the RAID uh, how to stop RAID array in enclosure, but uh, this I will cover uh, next in this video. So enclosure has a transparent plastic body with aluminium um, plate inside between drives for good heat dissipation and from factory uh, all it's covered in protection film. All the ports and buttons are on the one side all other sides are clear. Uh, so here we have a power port, power input port, a switch button, a USB 3.0 Type B port. Next is a RAID set button and the RAID mod switcher. Let's talk about uh, different versions of this enclosure. This particular model uh, I have is 22. 59RU3. It has RAID support and uses uh, USB 3.0 port Type B for connection. Here it is. Uh, you can also choose models without RAID support if you don't need that. So in that case, you'll get just two drives uh, connected uh, by one cable to your PC at the same time, and you uh, can use them independently. As for connection interfaces, you can also get. Uh, enclosure model with a Type-C port instead of Type-B and in that case you will find USB Type-C to Type-C cable in package and also USB Type-A to Type-C cable. So there are a lot of options to choose from depending on your use case and if you are interested in buying this product you will find some links in the description. Now it's time to install drives in our enclosure. Let's prepare some workspace. Uh, I will be using two identical uh, 2.5 uh, hard disk drives from Seagate. It's a 2TB Barracuda Mobile with uh, 5400 RPMs each. Those are 7mm uh, thick uh, drives and they should fit perfectly inside the, the enclosure. Uh, just for the test, I have another Samsung 
mobile hard drive and this one is 9 millimeters thick so it's a little bit thicker yeah it's almost uh, non seen on camera but it's thicker yeah it's 9 millimeters let's uh, first see if it can fit inside here so it open just slide this cover and let's put it here yes it fits it barely fits but uh, too tight and you need to put some force uh, some light force to close the cover uh, therefore you can't put 2.5 inches uh, disk drive than thicker than 9 millimeters for example 4 or 5 terabytes mobile drives which have uh, 14 or 15 millimeters height but anyway you can also use this enclosure for SATA SSDs um, because all of them are thin enough to fit inside. Come out, come out. No, <laughs> you see it fits so tightly. Yep, here. Uh, by the way, to store my drives, which I'm not using, I use this nice plastic case. There are also version for 3.5. Inch hard drives is very nice and protects drives in a good way. If you need this one, check the link below also. Yes, so strongly recommended. So let's put our working drives here. So we'll put one drive here, put the cover, slide it like this, close it. Closed, double check, yep, open, other side, do it same way, slide back, yep, and we are done, and now let's Feel a protection field. Oh yeah. Another side. Look at that. It's nice transparent case. It looks some high tech. And I like that our all components inside are exposed. Nice look to me. We will also peel off film from Tending detail and you can use it like this. Just put somewhere in vertical position here. Depending on your situation. Now I need to choose operational mode for hard drives. Depending uh, on the position of uh, those two switches, enclosure will operate in different RAID modes. By default, it is set up both switches in upper position and it's default mode when two drives in this enclosure will work independently so on your PC uh, you will get two different devices two different drives each one has its own capacity in this mode uh, you can use different drives of different capacity from different manufacturers it's completely okay let's choose some other mode uh, let's go to RAID 0 mode, for this case you have to put both switches, switches down here and in RAID 0 mode uh, all the data is being recorded on both drives simultaneously and you will get the maximum speed. So after you put uh, switches in a specific position you have to hold press button then connect external power and press the power button and wait 
then just release set button and enclosure will be set in RAID 0 mode. As I said, in this mode data is being recorded on both drives simultaneously and your total maximum speed is the double speed of one single drive. Uh, in RAID 0 mode it's recommended to use two identical disks uh, with two identical storage capacity, uh, even two identical manufacturers, uh, two completely identical models. Uh, the downside of this mod is if one of the drives will go down, if it fails, you will lose all your data stored on both drives and you will not be able to recover it. Also remember and be aware that uh, when you switch in between RAID modes in this enclosure, uh, you will also lose all data on both drives. So just set it once and use it some a long time and if you decide to switch operational mode of this closure be sure to back up uh, all the important data from it and then restore it back again next mode is raid one to use it put left switch in bottom position and right switch in upper position do the same procedure press and hold set button press power button and then release that button and enclosure will switch itself to RAID 1 mode. RAID 1 is mirroring mode. In this case, all files are duplicated between both drives for maximum protection. So basically one drive is backup drive and the total storage amount of, of enclosure equals to one drive size. In case one of disks uh, failures, you can restore copy of files from other drive. The total transfer speed will be speed of one drive. So it's this mode is recommended for you to be sure that your files are stored uh, safely in the safe place and you will not uh, lose them when the drive fails. And last operational mode are using left switch in upper position and right in bottom position like this is a capacity stacking mode here you will get single drive uh, with total size of two disks together but without striping or mirroring so data transfer speed uh, is depending on the drive speed arc which is currently in use so you will have the big drive but without any additional protection or security just a big disk for example if you will have one terabyte drive and two terabyte drive you will get three terabyte single disk in on your pc or other and device you're using enclosure with if you will have two disks with one terabyte you will get two terabytes completely and so on and now let's uh, go to the tests. So I've done uh, data transfer speed tests in different operational modes. And also I used one of those SATA drives directly by SATA connection to PC's motherboard. And here are results of all tests. So as you can see from the speed test results, the fastest mode is obviously RAID 0. When it, you're using data mirroring, the total speed of uh, enclosure is double of speed of the single drive. Uh, and uh, when you're using all the other modes, you will basically get uh, speed of enclosure equals to single drive speed. So uh, I have now two SATA SSDs to put them into the same test, but I'm pretty sure that speed in any mode will be limited to USB 3.0 speed in 5 gigabits per second. Although SATA SSDs uh, can go up to 6 gigabits per second on data transfer, the USB 3.0 connection in this case uh, of this enclosure will become a bottleneck. But if it's enough for you, just go and use it with SATA SSDs, why not? As for conclusion of this SATA uh, dual uh, USB 3.0 enclosure. Nice looking device, small in size, compact and easy to use. By the way, I, I found some uh, issue, you see, maybe it's hard to see. One drive here 
it pops up a little bit so you have to put some maybe piece of paper or piece of plastic inside to make fit it more properly yeah uh, this nice looking device small in size compact easy to use it uh, offers a good performance and simple setup you will definitely not be disappointed by it uh, the price is not the lowest for this enclosure but for what you get in this price it's absolutely worth it so i hope this video was interesting and useful for you if you have some any questions left about uh, two bay 2.5 inches drive enclosure you can ask in the comments down below and be sure i will answer them for you so you can appreciate me by giving a like to this video and subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching and have a great day